I've been in Hwansik, uh, as guys on, on uh, the training group. Um, I've been working on developing a drill after uh, Ben had analyzed my Area 8 footage and made a comment that it seemed that I was not looking uh, at a specific spot on the target that I was kind of seeing too generally. Um, and I've been thinking about that over the off season and kind of in my head developing a drill and I think I've come up with something to help my vision uh, see a little bit better uh, specific spots on uh, the target, specifically the A zone, uh, just to train my eyes to be able to look at a pinpoint location rather than just kind of blasting away at center brown, which of course for minor scoring, which I usually shoot production, now I'm shooting some carry optics. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to be just blasting it any part of the target, you need to see, you need to get those alpha hits. Uh, so I've come up with a drill I'm calling right now, uh, five zone, and you need uh, two just regular USPSA targets. Um, I'm starting the drill around five yards, and uh, one of the targets is going to be plain, unmolested, and the other is going to be, uh, have some marking on, markings on it, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I've... Uh, I marked with a Sharpie a, a credit card outline in the middle and then kind of bisect, or, uh, you know, sectioned off into four other sections of the rest of the alpha zone. You can just kind of approximate this, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, originally I had uh, just you know, a, a, a across to make four zones, but um, I think it's valuable to also be able to look directly at that, that you know, the, the middle of the target uh, at will. Uh, so the idea is that um, you want to be able to, to, to look to a specific part of the alpha zone uh, and hit that with two shots uh, from five yards. And I'll show you exactly how, we, how I'm going to do that. Um, it's, uh, it's not just drawing to the target. You're going you're to be facing 90, degree, 90 degrees away or, or a, a turn and draw so that your eyes have to come and select the, the part of the target you want. Uh, there's two phases to this drill. This is the first phase where you have the help of the outline for each zone, right? Uh, the second phase, after you've done, you know, uh, some warm up and some kind of getting used to the drill uh, with with the zones, is that you'll move to the open target and try to replicate the same results, shooting in zones one, two, three, four, and five in the center. Um, lines as in just like you would um, on a regular target that was two hits in the in the in the uh, one zone but they were super far apart I want to try to get that more like uh, you're looking at doubles kind of you know two inches two and a half three inches it's in a small circle that was pretty out of control try again zone one and for that center of that one zone a little bit better a little cleaner Still kind of a little farther apart than I like, but I'm closing in. One more time. That was about 177. I think a 1.5 from turn and draw is probably an okay time between 1 and 1.5. You know, one's getting spicy for, for you top guys. One time, zone 1. Eventually it's going to be about 1.5, and then, you know, spicy is going to be between 1 and 1.5. Okay, I tightened up and threw one out of the alpha zone altogether. That's some shit. We don't want that. That's a 1.86. That was a, yeah, not, not, not good. I'm sorry, one time on zone 4. Look for that. First shot was dead on, but then I didn't control the gun. My, my group was off, and I, I threw one into the, the five zone. Um, but you can kind of see, I, I liked how my, my, my sight tracked dead nuts into that four zone, so I was seeing well, I just didn't control the gun. All right, so, okay, so now I'm gonna try to replicate sim you know, similar results with a pattern. You could do this as much as you want on, on, the, first, on the first target, all five zones, whatever. I think it's a demonstration. I'm gonna go one zone, four zone, on the target that has no lines on it. 
try to get those uh, those pins. The same area with the, without the help of the lines, right? Looking specifically at the corner edges of that alpha zone. And it's hard to see with the way the light is, it's kind of back, back a little bit. You can't see the perp very well, but I'm gonna try to still zoom in my vision on those spots. switch to zone four. Seven two, those are almost touching. And that is just the bottom corner of that zone, but still counts. One more time. As I'm warming up, it's getting better. There we go. One five nine. So I'm starting to approach my goal zone for the day. I want, I want a one five, getting those those bevels in. That's looking nice. Let's do one more time. Try to, I'm gonna try to meet the goal now of one five zero. One five seven. So I didn't look fast enough, and the dot was a little bit wonky, but the pins are there, and that, those are both nicely in zone four. One five seven. So you kind of got the. So the first target was pretty rough. Um, I started out in the first part of the drill, phase one. Uh, you can see I got them all in. One, two, three, four, five, six, but it's not ideal. I, ideally, I want them kind of a more inside the center of the zone, but it counts roughly for, for my zone ones. My zone four was, was worse, <laughs> so I pulled a shot, just recoil control grip, um, and then I didn't return the gun well enough for this one. Uh, and I, Yeah, this is pretty rough. Um, but my second target, a little bit better. Now, it's, it's really hard to see the zone, so you really have to look you know, uh, hard, especially when the light's the way it is, uh, you know, you can't see the perf very well, which I think actually is a benefit. It, you, if you see too easily the perf, I, mean, I think it makes the drill too easy. I want, you kind of want your eyes to be able to memorize how the target, you know, how, how the target looks uh, without seeing lines and be able to drive a, a, a couple rounds to that specific part of the, of the target. 